Adrian, we've got two Wednesday. Where'd the week go? It's Wednesday, Wednesday Ion Night. So take flight with us as we take off. You see, I'm making all these flying and wing references because you get to fly an ion. Take flight with us as we spread our wings and lift off to higher places. Anyhow, run. Can't fly quite yet. Soon we'll be spreading our wings. I've got the button for it. I just can't use it yet. I have to a couple more levels. We just got done filming a little brief, and I do mean brief, community message for EverQuest 2. We're gonna post that in the community forum over on EverQuest 2. So go check that out if you're interested in EverQuest 2. If you're not interested in EverQuest 2, it's free to play. Go check out the forum post. You'll see why. We're going to put it in there as Pug TV community service message, something like that on the community forum. So look for us. Watch the video. Make you a free account at least for this weekend. And then uh, you'll go back to your regularly scheduled life. And with that in mind... We are going to continue our quest for getting wings. So here I am, level 6, and I'm hearing you can get this about 9 or 10. I think last week we played, I was like, I don't, I don't even think we leveled last week. I don't even know. I think we just kind of goofed around. Anyway, we kept dying. So, oh yeah, because we were working on a quest we weren't really good for. So anyway, hey Shadow, hope you're feeling better. Not cool being ill, so hopefully, hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. So with that in mind, just watch us go around and kill stuff. I guess that always makes me feel better. Ah, oh, oh, what are we doing? Pick a better mission. I think I do have all the quests from here. I don't see anybody wanting to give me a quest, so I think I'm good. We're thinking about making new people too. We'll see how far we go with these guys before we're absolutely done with them. I like my fighter. He just doesn't seem to put out much in the way of damage. So I must be doing something wrong. somebody or something we've got to click you took my clothes come back here no run away this is for Nibuda when she watches run and I died Serena has infected Let me go. Apparently, who knew? That seems to be a recurring theme with me. I should probably just not play RPGs, because all I do is die. Oh my goodness. I'll just stick to doing houses. I don't die doing houses yet. Oh my goodness. What's this guy's problem? Let's rest. Let's get some health back. Then I gotta figure out where to go. I can't, I cannot believe it. What a simple quest. And it says I've got 20 seconds of soul sickness. Alright, well at least that's not bad. So let me click on her and hit C. Probably gotta be closer. Where the heck am I? Oh man, I'm all the way at the... Why am I so slow? This must be a, an effect of soul sickness. Not being able to run. Alright. That just means I gotta be better.
actually, you know, it well, first look at the map, it looks pretty far, but actually it doesn't take but a few seconds to get somewhere. Alright. Now let's see if I'm close enough. Alright, here I go. Close enough to auto run to work. Well, just further down the road anyway. Hey Cynic. Thanks for dropping in. How's it going? Have you business with me? I do have business with you, and here it is. Oh, oh my man, I'm so close to six. Or to level seven. Oh, there it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I had some gear or something that I needed level seven to wear. Well, if I can use it, it has much better defense, block, and evasion. Let's see if I can put it on. Yes. Yay. I'm curious. In this light, I can't really see it, but I'm... it is different. Well, it looks pretty neat. I have to wait till I get better light. Then I also have... This mercenary sword is not any better. That's... What I just took off was this hoof fragment. Okay, these boots I also just got, which have much better stats as well. Oh, we're doing pretty good, Cynic. We're just out causing trouble here. You know, trouble. I think I'm good on equipment. What is this? Rusty Shackle. Yeah, at some point we'll need to sell, but... Look at that. 31,000 yen. I just feel rich. Be ready when you are. Oh, she sold bindings and equipment to her. Oh, she's getting dressed. In public. That's alright, so did I. The weather, or the weather, the lighting's kind of dark, so I can't really see duds, so just be a few few minutes before the sun comes out, because what he had wearing, what he what, it was green, kind of, it wasn't a pretty green, so this will be better, but I do need those better weapons, hopefully that will come, I like the ambient noise, ambient, ambient, got the crickets chirping and whatnot. We're just waiting to pick up our next mission. Yeah, we might have to run back because I don't think I bought anything skills for level 7. I have a ranger tome, but that's not me. Yeah, I don't think I did. I don't think I bought by my level 7 skills. Where'd she go? Off and running. Next time, tell me. Oh, this is funny. Hey, girly gamer! How's it going? I didn't see it. I didn't see it come in. Pull up a seat. Yes, we're playing Ion. It's that time of the week! It'll be even more exciting when we get the North American version and we can play on servers with other players here that already have established characters, so that will be very fun. Of course, by then we'll be so attached to these folks, it'll be like, well, I don't want to leave them. But we actually, though, uh, I think, in my theory, is it will probably be better for us in the long run to play on the North American servers that might improve some of our lag that we we seem to get. I mean the game is running really good so even even if this game is based in Europe it's running really smooth so I think we'll be alright if it goes North American. Oh and she's a uh, girly gamer says she's doing good. She's playing Ion 2 and taking advantage of free reactivation so you're getting back in huh? nice to be able to have your EverQuest and your Ion all for one low price, like me, of free. Greetings. 
At least it gives my wife a chance to have... Well, she's got two EverQuest accounts, but now she gets to try out some other games, too. So, going free has actually been very, very cool for us, at least. Uh, I don't even read the missions. I'm terrible. Hey, look, though. I like to look at the rewards. And once we're done with that one, I get to pick up a sword. Yes. For Alicia. And it's Today. Dorian. It's going to give a lot of money. I call it yen. I know it's not yen. It's some kind of gold. I've always Come thought... Come back anytime. I don't know. I'm, I'm undecided on games that have one, one coinage. It's like in the long run, like, does it really matter if you have platinum, gold, silver? Because you're still spending coins. And it's just, you know, different values of coins, but it's still ultimately coins. Or do you just have one amount... And when you buy something, it's, you know, I'm going to spend 300,000 coins. Part of me thinks I, I think I do like the alternate coinage because, you know, then I could say, well, let me spend two flat versus, well, let me spend 200,000 pennies. It's easier to type into your chat window two flat and count all the zeros and ones. So, you know, you take what you get. Like we, like we tell our son when he eats, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So I will take whatever money I get. Oh, uh, let's see. It's all about the loot, Cynic says. Oh, let's see. I have a, a girly gamer says she has a, a gold EQ2 account, but taking a break until tomorrow. Then I'll put in at least a few hours of EQ2 for Brewfest. Now, tomorrow is Thursday, so I know we'll be putting a little bit of time into Everest ah! 2. Uh, Cynic says all about the loot. Loot. That's right. Quests don't matter. It's the loot that matters. What are we fighting here, by the way? Those things. Okay. I come in and get my hit after she does the bulk of the work. And then uh, Girly Gamer says, the character I'm on is only level 34 and has 5 million kana. Oh, snap. 5 million sounds ridiculous. Ridiculously, like a lot to me. And she says, I prefer broken down currency like flat gold silver as well. Yeah, I just. I don't know. I keep it track of million, million. It just seems a little much. Like for item shopping. That'll be 2,342,114 knots. What body? Oh, it's glowing for me. Loot. Oh, we got a prayer bead. Only got one though. Are we killing more of the flying thingies? Oh, nothing on it. Hmm. Oh, and then girly gamer goes on that five million cannot isn't much either. It's definitely strange to get used to. Well, to me that sounds like a lot, but... I guess, I guess, maybe not. I'm only level 7. I feel like that's not a lot. I got 31,000. I guess maybe because I'm still maybe thinking in terms of like copper coins. I'm not sure how I would convert that out to platinum. But to me, 31,000 seems pretty good. But yeah, that's probably just a drop in the bucket if you want to get good equipment. Are we doing more Elder Sparkles? Here's one. It didn't have anything. And the Fearless Fungi, you say? Here's a Fearless Fungi. Well, now we're doing okay on these missions. We were we were not doing so well last week. <laughs> Ooh, that has one. Oh, just a man of stone. Uh, those are pals. I want to kill somebody's pal. Here's a fearless fungi back here. Oh, someone got it. Some harvest 
game audio is way louder than your mic today. Uh-oh. Well, that's sad, because I had a, a different mic, and we tried adjusting it up. Let me... I don't mind turning game audio down. Let me go ahead and try that real quick. I kind of like the music. I'll probably have to do an adjustment for all my games. That stinks. Alright, we'll see if that's any better. Just let me know if that's any better. There'll probably be some trial and error. I have a new mic, which is supposed to be better. And I got the mic turned up all the way in my window setting, so I must be doing something wrong. M might be another adjustment I need to look at but I was hoping it would cut down on you know, any kind of like static or anything like that. Try to get something. That's an invalid target. Yes. This thing says better, for me at least. So, okay, so it sounds a little bit better. Oh, it's much better. Female assassins are just really loud. Yeah, I noticed that. Sounds like a tennis player. Blah. Blah. Ooh. All right, so we'll turn the game down a tad. I don't mind. That's the wrong. That just makes you want to hear me. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> That's what my wife is saying. She says it makes no sense for an assassin to be so loud. You know, like, hey, I'm here to kill you quietly. Take that mushroom. Oh, I think I got a mushroom part. Yeah. Oh, I only need five of those. Sparky. Razzy doesn't like the new new items she picked up, but oh look, yeah, her skirt and stuff kind of overlap funkily. Uh, hopefully, we'll get something. To do with that. Hey, that's true. Rangers are much quieter if she goes that route. My old main is a ranger. You can also choose different voices in character creation. So maybe when you guys re-roll on North America, she can choose a different voice that doesn't yell so much. Yeah, I hadn't really looked into the voices all that much, but yeah, I can believe that. Ion is great about appearance items. You don't get appearance slots, but at level 20, you get to go to the city and have an NPC make pretty much any item look like any other item of the same classification. Oh, that's cool. Can you hide items? My wife wants to know if you can hide stuff. Maybe... Yeah, no apparent sob. Yeah, so probably just have to convert it into something else. Maybe I gotta get this microphone closer. It doesn't seem very bendy. But the way this default microphone is, it kinda sits out a lot further than what I'm used to having. My other microphone was like right in my mouth, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Here, here. 
So you can't hide something, but uh, Girly Gamer says we might just be able to find something that looks better. So we are on the quest for better clothes. I know I'm a fashion guru. I like to look fashionable. Sparky. Oh, I guess I'm good. I got the prayer beads. I think I get hearts of the mushrooms. Uh, girly goes on. I don't know of any items that are like imperceptible beauty items in Dragon Quest 2 that may look uh, that make you look naked in that slot. Um, that's all right. Their clothing's pretty good, so I'm sure we'll find a good combination of stuff. That's that's nice. I think we'll be okay. I have to admit, though, EverQuest 2 has come a very long way in their clothing. And there's still the occasional outfit that I kind of look at and really shrug my shoulders and wonder why they did what they did, but it does have a pretty good selection now for men and ladies. Trumpy is catchy. Wow, someone's clearing out all this stuff. There's one. One for me. There's a mushroom heart. Yes, I want the mushroom heart. Okay, I need two more. Fearless fungi. Nope, not a shade. Here we go. Oh. Guessing that was aggressive. Sorry, Shane. Uh, girly, girly goes on. Even wipers like me and like really girly stuff. There's leather stuff in the solo level 18 to 22 deck that is super cute. The shoulders have a unicorn head on them. Oh, that's cool. Might even be cute on me. I like good looking gear too. We could probably run back and okay. I think somebody might be aggressive. Maybe not. get my quest items we'll go back to town. Time to go talk to that bag expender guy. Just trying to avoid the fight. Mushroom heart. I need one more mushroom heart. I'll be ready. Ancient cube. Oh 
no, it was just a sticky spongy fluid. One more heart. Just trying to loot the wrong body. There we go. We might be able to take all. Yay, I've got it. I got my beads, I got my heart. So, oh, this person has a quest. Can you talk to the hermit? Might as well pick it up. I am but a faithful servant. Where's Teddy? May the shadows never find you. Good. Another quest. Oh, hello, status. Oh, aren't you handsome? You look like something out of a Final Fantasy game. Healer me. Oh, I wonder what healer me is. Hugger. I have no idea what tree hugger is. It's sometimes fun to guess what they are by their name. I think tree hugger is a ranger. Just a guess. Yeah, it's the they branch. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you probably didn't watch my character creation videos, but the uh, your scout thing here can either become an assassin or a ranger later on. Right. And then like this, like the wizard can become a, a summoner or like an elementalist later on. And I was thinking about taking the wizard so I can make a summoner later. I'm hoping the summon pets look cool. I might look that up on the internet. If they have cool looking pets, I'm definitely going to roll a Ari summoner. friend. Because I like fancy cool looking pets. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. And, uh, Girly Gamer goes on. Tree Hugger is a title. Ugh, oh, I thought that was a name. Dang it. Alright, so. Actually, I should name my guy Tree Hugger and then get the title Tree Hugger. And then he'd be a Tree Hugger Tree Hugger. <laughs> and then, uh, you get it after a major quest change that is in the zone you're doing. So, yeah, we might get that title then. And then titles in Ion have stat boosts. So, depending on which stat you benefit from the most, you choose your title accordingly. Well, that's cool. So you actually get something for your title. And Spirit Masters have awesome looking pets. Yep, that's what I want. Because I got disappointed with the some of the pets are up to something. they've done in EverQuest 2 for some of their classes. The, I mean, they've improved. But, like, I was so disappointed for the longest time the Elementalists were like, your pet was like a, a rock that followed you. You know, and then, like, for a while the Necromancer had, like, a beetle. You know, a, a beetle? Really? But at least now they mostly get a lot of, you know, skeletons and necromatic type of junk. There's my wife. Oh, general goods. I can sell to this person. So, yeah. Pets Please take cool. your time. I'm into pets. Really liked it, Dark Age of Camelot. It was very, very cool. They had some good pets. They had the, like, the bone dancer class and stuff like that. That was very good. So. Minor rallies. Natural healing increases by two. Ooh. Oh, I'll, I'll drink that one. I'll save those stones. Physical attack increases by two. Oh, I'll use that one. I should be using those when we go fight. When we start our next mission, I'll start that. Plainsman shield. Oh, I'll sell that. Mine's better. That's my old boots, hoofs, something leather. Old armor, old sword, something, something, book, what a food. Oh, I'll use that, increase attack speed, attack speed, Ta oh no, it's physical attack. Swings, panacea light, I'll keep that. Oh, and then uh, Gurley points out the high level fire one is amazing, oh, that's cool. I like, uh, I like pets. I was doing Final Fantasy XIV for a while. I had that for like a couple of months, and it was supposed to have summons, but like I never, never really saw anybody use them, and I haven't seen any pictures. So I was always hoping they would have cool summons like the like from the the video games. So if this has cool stuff like that, because I thought Final Fantasy XIV had some really good summon pets. So yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what this game has. 
and sell. So I've cleared up a little bit. I gotta see about augmenting my gear I got. That's just tedious work. Alright, so let me hop out of this selling. Take care. Alright, I'm ready to go adventuring when you are, and I'm gonna eat some food and drink some drink to make me stronger while we fight. go. And she says, once you get to Sanctum, the main Elia city, you'll see some amazing armor and the SM pets are all kinds of crazy. Cool. I like seeing what we got on display. physical attack, so I'll just have these two running for now. Where's she at? She's so cute when I have to fight stuff on her own. Then I come and finish it off for her. What missions are you tracking? Alright, where's 2D to his music box? Alright. Are you, are you doing illegal logging or anything like that? Or just those three? This is sweet time. Mine of war? Alright, I'm with you. What's that? The logging? Yeah, I figured it was our level. Well, at least illegal logging is. So I'll, I'll put that there too. Do, 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 gazpacho. Oh, that's like a cup of coffee. Fearless fungi. Fearless fungi. See if you say it just right. The trick to a name, if you want it to sound like a perfume, is you whisper it. So like Fearless Fungi. So you'd be like, get a whiff of Fearless Fungi. Kind of. The Fearless Fungi. Get a whiff of Get a whiff of El Rocco. Perfume. Right there. Perfume name. Dukaki Lumberjack. Oh, there you go. Get a whiff of Dukaki Lumberjack. Almost got lost. Well. Oh, hey, look. Eagle Claw is joining us. How's it going, Eagle? We're doing Ion tonight. Yay! Something different. Get the smack down. That was it? Alright, go ahead, mine some ore. Well, Eagle, it is going pretty good, actually. 
just out, trying to get built up here a little bit, and hoping to get our wings be nice if we can try the flying feature out. Oh, he's speaking trash. Just like that. Mmm. We want more smackers or Oh, were you e able to Yep, I think you got the more. Oh, some for me. Nope. Oh snap. That means I gotta work on my collection skill. Alright, so we'll have to work on collection skills, see if we can uh, build up. So in the meantime, we'll just kill what we need to do here. Expect works the bomb. I wonder if you get the ability to learn their languages later on, which is always fun hear what they're actually saying to you. Do we want this one too? Okay. My wife says, I gotta kill 12 of them. Yeah, okay. So it's the, the cocky. There's brawlers and diggers. Let's, let's try a digger. Uh, Gurley says, Oh, another macro is wings, but I don't know if it works until you ascend. Yeah, I probably had to ascend. I mean, I'm just. Oh, yeah, just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can slash wings. Yeah, that didn't work. Ah, oh, dang it. And then Eagle, I took your recommendation last night and downloaded STO. Oh, good. Yeah, I think I think in the long run, invest a little bit of time in Star Trek online, I think that you will actually like it. Uh, you know, even solo, it, it's pretty darn good. And then if, uh, you know, you, you meet up with us and go with the group, that just makes it even funner. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely good investment of time. I would say investment of money, but it's free to play. So just enjoy. Enjoy it. The early gamer goes, yeah, when you ascend, it should pop your eyes. Which... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get to so. ascend. I was hoping it would be tonight, but I honestly think we'll probably have to take a little more time. I think, I think that we're actually going to play this off camera some as well. My wife was actually talking about doing some, trying out another class off camera as well. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping maybe this weekend we'll get played up a little bit. I don't know how much I'll get done. My uh, game fly for Final Fantasy 13 is to arrive, so I'm trying to play a little bit of Final Fantasy 13 when I can as well. So, so many games, so little time. But you know what, though? If you're, if the hardest thing you have to do in your life is decide what game you're gonna play and when, then you know your life's going pretty good. And then Eagle Claw says, "I have to admit the starter quest has me confused, though." Oh, the starter! I haven't played the starter quest for Star Trek in a long time, so I don't even know what what it entails right now. So. I'm not quite sure what to tell you. I don't know. What does it want you to do? I don't even know. Like, I, I'm not even sure it's the same starter quest that I have. Uh, and then Gurley says, yeah, you can ascend to level 9 and it gives you an entire level. Kind of like an EQ2 when you choose our, our trader class at level 9 and it dings you to level 10. Oh, okay. So actually, I'm getting, I'm getting close then. We're about to hit eight. We should be okay. We probably still won't probably get it tonight, but that just tells me if we play a little bit off camera, 
we should be able to get our wings. That would be cool. Okay, what are we going to target? Checking something out. else we're filling in our map I think we can explore the map a bit too. I think we're just looking for more of them things to fight, but looking for an well that was a boss. He's dead. I'm trying to find the ancient cube. It's in here somewhere. Uh Yeah, her clothes kind of overlap, like her her chest piece fits, kind of overlaps her little skirt, and that does look kind of goofy. So at least I'm not wearing green armor. This is pretty good. I like some of the details on the armor. That's pretty nice. I don't know if Ion is using the Unreal Graphics engine, like Terra, because it... it kind of has a, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably get flamed and hate mail, but the graphics kind of remind me of, like, Terra. I know Terra's got probably higher res or higher res textures and whatnot, which is kind of the art style. I mean, that's fun. Their clothing is pretty cool. Let's see here, and the girl goes on. You can't find most zones though. That may change when they add mounts in, but I'm not sure. I think it will still be limited, but you'll be able to glide, which takes a little getting used to. You have to get on top of a hill, and you'll figure out. Well, oh, those leggings look for you. I got some cloth leggings for level nine or higher. I don't, I don't remember it asking me if I wanted to roll for them or not. Okay, let me see if I can trade with you. And maybe I can send you these pants. <gasps> I'm a starter and cannot trade items with other players. What does it say? Purchase a gold pack in the shop. What? Well, I guess it's to help cut down on gold farmers. So, darn, that sucks. I can't give her stuff. That, that's a big limitation for free to play. I could see them saying at a particular level that would unlock trading and instead of saying trading is turned off permanently and that kind of sucks. But oh, she fixed it. Let me see if I can get my camera. Okay, she fixed her skirt problem. Alright. All is well. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to show the it disappeared. All right. Just trying to show off your new clothes is all. Oh. It would be nice to know that they are. Almost forgot to hit the chain. I was trying to trying to read what he's saying. Well, hello, Dukaki worker. Oh, I'm already fighting. That. Uh, and then Girlie goes on, she said, I'm pretty sure you get rid of most limitations in free-to-play if you subscribe for one month and get veteran status for the silver level subscription. 
Oh, you know what? That's a good point. When when the Ion went free to play here for the European, they had a thing set up where yeah, if you had subscribed in the past or current subscriber and went free to play, there was a tier it's probably silver then, which actually had quite a few perks and bonuses. So I'm, I'm probably, if this turned out to be a game that I like, probably would go ahead and pay for like one month of subscription just so we could get that silver status. I, I could see that happening. I don't mind a game where I have to pay out a little bit of money to get, you know, a couple more perks. I just don't want to have to pay every single month for a game I don't play that much. I mean, you figure, at this point, I've invested maybe six hours into the game over three weeks. That, to me, is not worth, you know, $15 a month. But if you tell me 15 bucks to get the ability to, say, trade and maybe one or two more character slots and just a couple more perks, yeah, that, that's worth it then, because I don't have to pay that again. And then I can just play whenever I want. Fiend. Are we getting what we need out of these guys? Which ones are dropping the ore? Alright, well. How about workers? No, oh, there's a digger. Let's try the digger. Oh, look, there's someone with wings. I'm jealous. Oh, here's a couple diggers. Oh, I got stuck on a fence. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't put any money into the European version, but when the North American version comes out, if that's one of my life and I like, we'll probably pay for getting up to the silver membership. That that probably wouldn't be a problem at all. And and then she goes, I think the only real benefit to the gold level is that we'll have a much shorter instant screen down time. And then she put a, a link in the chat to go check out the ship. Oh we lost Shadow. I didn't even know Shadow. He must not be feeling good. Oh you found it? Oh, she's standing on the queue. Oh, there it is. All right, let me let me check something. Don't go too crazy yet, honey. I gotta do my journalistic part. Hold on. Let's see. Ion free to play. Yeah, so we'll go to the Ion free to play. I don't know if it's gonna be the same with North American as it is for. The European one. I know this is the free-to-play model right now for uh, where we got our free download. This was for European. Let's see account types. So let's just take a quick peek. Veteran. So you got the starter, which is what we're doing now. It's permanent. Two character slots. No no bonuses. You get your quests. You get the equipment. You get customization. Uh, maximum character level is 55, which is the same for all of them. So you get the maximum levels, full equipment access, you get PvP, you get crafting. And then it says chat, trade, personal shops, mailboxes, like all, all that stuff is limited. And then veteran. Former subscription was what they, they call it. So I'm assuming that would work at any point. If you had your gold pack for that one month, then that would make you a former subscriber. I'm, I'm hoping that would hold that way. Then you're going to get eight character slots. Uh, still no bonus, but you get all the quests. But then, yeah, look, oh my gosh, you get almost all the same perks as a gold pack member. So, wow. Yes, this is, uh, Fortress Siege Rewards, it says limited. I think that just sounds like a big PvP thing. So, I mean, if you're into that, that might be worth a gold pack, but I don't know anything about it, so... I couldn't tell you if that would be worth paying month after month for. But if you look there for a former subscriber, so pay for a month and look how much you unlock, like f almost exactly the full benefits of a gold. So I, I would do that.
because I don't think you have to pay monthly for anything on the veteran. So that's pretty phenomenal. All right, I'm back. Journalistic side is over. All right. Hopefully you saw that. I didn't even check to see if you could see the website. I just pulled it up and hoped made the assumption that it showed up for you. But if you, if you can see the website, just go to ion32play.com and that really is the name of the website and it's the European Game Forge version. I'm pretty sure that NCSoft will be putting out the North American one pretty soon, but it should, it should pretty much be virtually the same. Alright, we're just looking for some diggers. So. Uh, yeah, and Gurley confirms that that's PvP stuff and she doesn't do sieges, so, you know, I don't think I would be hurt. I mean, it might be cool to cover, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be Man, you know, I turned, I turned my party down, and that assassin shrieking is still coming in strong. These diggers are just not given what we want. We try this worker next to us as well. Oh, my buffs wore out. What you got, worker? You got a mana stone. Ooh, a mercenary captain sword. Ooh, let me look at that. Because that does way more damage. Damn it. Uh, I can't use it. Level 9. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, at least I'm picking up gear I can build into, so... A little sad face, but I, I guess I'll be alright. Smackers, smackers... Letting her organize her. Oh, we're looking for her, her. She's looking for her collect and skill. That's under craft. If you hit K for skills and go craft collection, seven of forty-nine. So no, our gathering probably is not the strongest. Well, it looks like another off-camera task. We gotta build our collection skills so we can work on some of these quests. And, you know, the things to do for fun. Uh, and then Gurley goes on. In the detailed version of the chart, it shows the different timers for the different subscription types, which I didn't see the, the detailed chart. Uh, I didn't look that far. And she goes, I pretty much only do solo instances, and those timers don't change between the different levels. So, you know, if, if grouping was your thing, that might might be important, but we probably wouldn't be hitting a lot of instance dungeons and stuff anyway till later, so we're probably good. And then she goes, it, it looks like the higher level instances have the biggest time of cooldown change between the silver and gold levels. So, you know, just like any game that is free to play that has some kind of subscription or gold level, silver levels, it, I think it's good, it's, it's kind of flexible you really get to decide what it is you want to pay for. So if to you, those things are worth it, then it's worth paying the money for. If you're lucky and majority of the stuff that you do is on, say, that medium tier, pay the one-time fee and you'll be okay. Oh, good. And Rand, she put on her Am I wearing Tree Hugger right now? Let me see. Tree hugger. What does it give me? Accuracy plus one. I'm not doing none of that. Ain't no tree hugger. Accuracy, smackeracy. 
when I have like Jadrian the Iron Fist. See, like Poeta's protector, I kill everything. See, how come I can't have a title like I kill everything? <laughs> Sounds like a bad name for a bad movie. I only say that because I actually took the time to kind of partially watch a movie called The Dead Hate the Living. Just a silly name for a silly movie. They didn't drop anything, but we'll check it out. Yeah, I mean, once while I hear it beep, and it looks like it's a flash. It's missing some element of the game here. Uh, let's see here. And Curly goes on. She says, I'll probably subscribe before the 12th or 13th to get the set of level 50 armor, but then I'll be free to play. If the North American free to play is the same as the Euro model. Yeah, right. And like I said, I haven't seen anything relating to the North American free to play. I think those will be few on pass. Now is that March twelve and thirteen you're talking about for for free to play for Ion North America or April? Because I just I just haven't noticed it for North America yet. this terrain reminds me of like terrain out of World of Warcraft. A little disappointed with the ground here. Oh. Oh. Mm, smacker. Oh, hey, hey, I gotta loot a corpse. You're right there. Uh, girly goes on. Yeah, that's when the, this reactivation event ends on the North American servers, and if you resubscribe before then, they give you the 50, level 50 Devonian armor set for your highest level characters. That's cool. So, 12th and 13th. Oh, reactivation event. So, yeah, you want to reactivate by then so you qualify for your, your, get your armor. Okay, makes sense to me. I've got nothing to reactivate, though. And I don't want to buy it just to uh, get this. Money. Oh, here's a digger. Yay. Might be quicker just to might just be quicker to harvest. Can we turn these in though? We need to turn these in. That might boost me to eight. I'm feeling like a couple of quests will turn me into eight. Now my wife's like, can I turn her voice off, please? Please? 
Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely be worth re-rolling. You can go through all your voices, and, and, and you can't change the voice, so I don't know what set you're on, but we might want to try, like, seductive or something. <laughs> something maybe not so manly. What? I think she chose tennis player voice set. Hey, I want to harvest, too. Oh, man. Get off my bush. Here we go. Oh, oh man, get off my bush. Where I go, people are harvesting bushes. Oh, hello, Oz. More guard post, outpost guard guy. Harry Aluma, friend. Here it is. Illegal, whatever. I'm on it. Yay! Oh, that. Oh, look. See, I, I hate when games do that, where you're off somewhere working on one quest and you just slaughter a whole bunch of creatures because they're in the way or whatever, you come back and then he says, hey, go back and kill a certain amount of those creatures you just got done killing. It's like, why well, just got done killing like 30 of them? Could I get some quest credit for those? That'd be nice if they would retroactive your quest, your quest kills. That would be nice. But I don't know any game that does that, and you would think that they could. You would think... All right, where'd my wife go? Why? Oh, there she is. No, she's not. Oh, you did? Why'd you take? Oh, all right. Oh. Ion's greatest gift to the world. Oh, okay, traveler. we're gonna fly. This is the cool flight. So it's worth it. Look, it's only 163, and I've got like 45,000 on it. That's like a dollar. Uh, she goes, harvesting takes forever. After you leave the starter zone, it gets worse. At the level I am right now, like 240-ish gathering skill, you end up having to harvest like 30 times before you get one skill point. Oh, that is brutal. Yeah, see, m my opinion, not that I've played a lot of games, but of the Asian-based MMOs I've played, grind is just part of the territory just the way it is. So like, North American games, Western if you will, the emphasis more on like story and crafting gathering and, and those kinds of things go rather quickly. Your Most of your leveling seems to come from quests. So, you know, it, it's just a different philosophy. I'm not saying it's which one's better or worse. It's, again, that's all personal preference, but the way I see it is the Asian-based MMOs are just a lot more grindy. So, you know, gather 30 items to get one skill point. That that you would not see any more in a Western MMO. Uh, some of the older ones, when they first came out, like EverQuest, Ultima Online, a lot of those were grindy. You just had to repeatedly work that skill. But over time, they do make those a lot easier. So you just kind of got to decide, you know, if it's worth your time. If you don't mind doing it... Now, I guess it's not a grind, but like for me, you know, I, I can't even play the same game day to day. There's no way I'm going to try and harvest 30, 40 times just to get one or two skill points, but that's me. And then Gurley goes on, Adventuring was grindy when the game came out too, but they added tons more quests, so it's a lot better now. And that, you know, I, I totally agree, and I know the reason why they added more quests, like, you know, I, I don't really know, but my opinion as to why they added way more quests was because of the Western market. I, w I would rather grind quests than I would just go out and grind kills. I mean, that's me. So I'm thinking that's probably where they got that from. And I do know too that, you know, that when they try to localize a game, that that's the kind of stuff that they have to do to make it more appealing to us. In fact, something else that they do, I know also, is sometimes they have to add movement schemes. Because I think when I first played this, it was point and click on the ground. And, you know, I mean, I could be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. But, like, Lineage 2, I know for a fact, had very, very poor control schemes compared to, like, a Western MMO and they slowly added some d alternate control schemes because point and click is not uncommon in Eastern MMOs. 
But when you pick like a major release in, a, in North America or a Western MMO, they don't use point-click methods. So there are two different design philosophies in games, and Grindy definitely comes with the Asian MMOs. I guess because maybe we're just a little more lazy. I don't know. I think part of it too is they're. I think in Asia they're probably way more social with their game. So while you're doing grindy activities, you're also being more social, and that could do something. Uh, even though for us in the West, the MMOs are social aspects, we probably aren't as social as they are in the East. Uh, but I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I think Gurley says, uh, you can still point click on the ground, but uh, but you're right, like right after beta, they added WoW movements to the game. That's, that's what I thought, because... That's not how how we play. And I hate to say like we, them, they, or whatever, but you know it's those design philosophies because this was not a MMO designed in the West. This was imported to us, and I know Terra has actually the same same movement now between the Eastern version because it's a, an action-based MMO. So at least that control scheme is the same either way. But you know, man, I'm just talking. And then you have to activate point and click movement and options. Yeah, and I just I can't stand point and click. And what I hate with my lineage too, I didn't look to see if I could turn off point and click. But what I do sometimes is I accidentally click on the ground and I start moving. Yeah, I just uh, I just can't stand point and click. Let's see. So I got boost card. That's level nine. Ray. I'm going to go ahead and get two levels this one. I'm going to buy this one, this one, and just carry them. And then I'm going to exit you. Open the door. Ooh, probably shouldn't have done that. i got to go sell some stuff. And I'm going to read this book. Oh, I should have read it first. Okay, it is a tab. Let's see if it was passive. Rage. Increases your physical attack. Uh, nope, it's a spell. By 9 for 10 seconds, it forms a protective shield that has a chance to absorb 106 damage up to 106 damage whenever you're subject to attack. Oh, Ferocious Strike Rage. Oh, hold on, what are these? Ferocious Strike. I wonder if this is one that's gonna branch off and I have to decide if I want to trigger rage or if I want to trigger something else. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, so I'm good there. Let me go to the bell. No items here. There's a personal shop. Yeah, and I don't even know if they have an auction house, but I do know I've played a couple games that were uh, brought over from Asia that had just the personal stores and then after a while they added an auction house because I know that the Asian MMOs they don't mind well I won't say they don't mind but personal vendors that you just set up right in the middle of town Watch is not this. foreign Even to them on but whereas we mostly have auction houses you know Star Wars Online has got an auction house you know Star Trek Online auction house this game I don't think it has an auction house. So, iron. Uh, that's probably craft and sell. Mana, sell. Pants, sell. That's sell. That's sell. We'll sell. Oh, let me talk to that ferret thing. May the coin be your guide, Dave. See what I can do about getting more. Dave, something on his mind? Upgrading level one requires that. Yeah! Oh look! I just got more more slots. Go to the cube guy. You get you get more slots. What's the next level? Oh, I gotta get another cube. All Save right. travels, Dave. Oh, he's cute. Save travels, Dave. And my wife's working on her cat. Hmm. And the main upgrade guy is in Sanctum, so we're probably not there. Might be a little while. All right. Well, let's see here. 
12, 10, we're in between quests. Oh, but I'm so close to going up a level. I wonder if maybe we can... We gotta find my wife. I lost my wife. I think you went out a... different than where I thought you went. Oh, I just didn't go far enough. here a little bit more. Cleona Lake. There we go. Close enough. There she is. What are you killing? Oh, you're trying to harvest. It was in your way. I killed it because it was in my way of harvesting. Well... She said they shouldn't stand on her plant. She said, my plant. Go find your own plant. Well, I'm going to go find my own plant. So this has got to be exciting. So yeah, come watch us play Ion. We are harvesting today. <gasps> but you do get adventuring XP and gathering from, from crafting. Oh. From gathering and crafting. I didn't know that. So there's benefits from taking the time to stop and pick the flowers. Well, then that's exactly... You did? How much experience did you get? My wife just got to level 8. Well, I'm... I want me some plants. That is one. I want... I'm... That's... Oh, that's mine. Get off my plant. If I can level up after that, heck yeah. Give it to me. Here I go. I'm gonna I'm gonna level me up off of gathering some junk here. Shoot. Well, I'm just gonna keep gathering until I get it. Heck yeah. Pick them flowers. Adrian, pick them. Come on, buddy. Uh oh. Don't fail me now. There you go, there you go. Looks like the skill went to eight. Well, I tell you what though, but speaking of grindy, I know I was I don't wanna say I'm putting putting down the Asian MMOs, but speaking of grinding, when uh, EverQuest first came out, not the first EverQuest, I uh, clarify, when EverQuest 2 first came out, that had a sucky, grindy harvesting game. Oh it was terrible because you would get your one harvestable node which would give you like one resource and you could I think it allowed you three swings at it all together I think it was like three swings all together and you could yield one item per swing and if you failed that counted as one of your swings so if you failed like two times ugh, get off my whoosh. Well, I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to level up. Well, too late. I just found another one. But, uh, yeah, it was grindy, because then they had this boot. This uh, quest was like these boots were made for walking. It was to get, like, a, a heritage item from EverQuest, these special dwarven boots. And you had to go out and harvest an insane amount of ore and some other stuff. It, it was meant to be, because it, it, it was a legendary item, I think it was legend. It was something real important item. Anyway, we did that quest, and it took forever. It took an infuriatingly um, high amount of time to find all these things. And later on in the game, they went and changed the harvesting rules completely, and made it all easier to harvest and it was no longer quite the challenge to get those boots. We were kind of mad, because we were like, are you serious? We did this the old-fashioned way, and now new people get to do the easy quest? We were, we were a little bit upset. Uh, 
Oh, and then Gurley says she didn't start playing EQ2 until the second expansion. Yep, we were there from the beginnings. We were there when you had to advance your character class. I think you had two advancements to get your final level. Like if you, like if you were going to be a paladin, you had to play like it was like a guardian. So you had to play it up to level 10, and then you had to branch up to level 20, and then level 20 you actually got to pick your final character class. That that sucked too. <laughs> that was terrible. So yeah, they they changed a lot about that game. Uh, and then Gurley, let's see here. And Gurley says, if you guys like crafting, Ion is grindy, but one nice thing is that when you, you can level by doing work orders, and you don't have to gather your materials to do it. The NPC that gives you the quest gives you the materials. You just have to buy fuels, which can get pricey. Yeah, I don't know how much of a crafting fan I am. I don't know. And then Eagle Claw says, I haven't played EQ2 in ages. Well, see, look, Eagle. It's free to play now. Look, look, look at my bar here. Like, I don't even have all the free to plays up. Star, okay, look. Age of Conan, free to play. Star Trek Online, free to play. Oh, my thing locked up. Rift, free to play up to level 20, or so they say. Lord of the Rings, free to play. Warhammer, online, free to play up to level 10. EverQuest 2, free to play. Uh, Terra is a beta, not quite free to play yet, but I don't have Ion up there. But, I mean, you know, there's, there's a plethora of these free to play games. You know, like, might as well get back into it, you know, if you played it before. Especially if you played it before, if you come back to it. What they did was they grandfathered in a lot of your character classes and stuff that uh, you had purchased and, you know, had access to prior to going free to play. So, like, I had a whole bunch of characters that all of them were completely accessible after the switch to free to play versus someone who's starting out new has a lot of imita limitations. Yeah, so if you have a maximum level Necromancer now, this would not be a bad time to hop back in because you would still have access to your high level Necromancer. What's that? Oh, yeah, my wife points out though, the thing that sucks is they are still restricted to bag limitations. So if your Necro had like a lot of items, you might not be able to access everything but your character itself would be intact and playable. Yeah, that's the drawback too is the equipment. Uh, because your free-to-play account does not have access to the, was it, fabled and mythical, something like that. You have, yeah, you don't get your legendary and fabled equipment. So, I mean, if you had a max level necro, depending on your gear, there might be some complications. But the thing is, you can play your high level necro for free. I'm oh oh my gosh! Look at that! I am almost leveled up. Oh man, that's crazy. I had I never would have known that, and I never would have taken the time to uh, pick flowers and whatnot. So that's good to know. And Gurley says, what level was max level the last time you played? Oh, that was for him. And Eagle says he stopped playing when the max was 80. Well, just think, you're not max now. Yeah, because now you can go to 90. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, let's go. I wonder if anybody else knows that you can level up by gathering... I don't tell anybody else because I don't want to have to compete for harvesting. Ooh, you know what? I just thought of a new Iron Man competition for Ion. Leveling up only through harvesting. See how high you can go by doing nothing but harvesting. That's it. Just harvest your way up to the top. I wonder if that's even possible. No. And Curly Camera says, no way you can keep that challenge. Well, you know, I'm only thinking of something because 
Um, there's this unofficial rules on uh, World of Warcraft. People have their Iron Man rule sets. And, you know, I, I don't play World of Warcraft, but I thought it was a neat idea where folks have set some very, very strict self-imposed limitations on how they're allowed to play. You know, like they can't wear anything higher than than like gray or, or white equipment, so like no greens, no low-level magic stuff. You know, so it was like just some very strict rules on what you could do. And I was like, well, man, I'll just, I'll just harvest my way up. Heck. That would be an accomplishment. Oh, uh, hey, Will of Frandom. Welcome. Oh, we had a couple people join in since I've, I've last looked. We've got Jonesy and Kicker and Will of Frandom. So, Will of Frandom comes in. He says, so I'm a real MMO noob by grinding. Do you mean like Final Fantasy grind fighting mobs for hours on end? Yes, that's what I mean. So, the cool thing I just learned. So, Will of Frandom... You, you can do that for me. Tell me what it's like. Get the Ion free to play. You know, either uh, if you go to just hear out the instructions, and then, you know, this is for anybody, I think this might be neat. Just let me know how it goes. You go get Ion free to play, ionfreetoplay.com, get an account, download it, get your character, and then when you come out into the world, bypass all the quests, all the fighting, and go straight to harvesting. And then grind. That's exactly what I mean. Just grind plants. And see see if you can level up just off of grinding plants. And I, from what I'm seeing, it would probably take an insane amount of time to do. But man, can you imagine the bragging rights? See, and and my wife was thinking about making a new character, making a wizard, and I thought about making a new person too, just to try it out. But I just I just got my level, and she's like, should I try that on my new person? And I told her, yes, let's do it. Let's make a new person. That'll be our Iron Man rule set right there. Can, or maybe not Iron Man, but that'll be our crafting thing. Can only level up through harvesting and crafting. And then uh, Grilly Gamer says, yeah, I saw that the other day. I think she's talking about the uh, the Iron Man rule set for World of Warcraft. It, it's pretty in, it, pretty intense. Those people take it real serious. Uh, then Eagle Claw says, uh, oh, he was just defining out the the grinding for me. So Eagle Claw, he says, yes, well, of ra uh, well of ra I was saying well of random, well of random. Grinding is having to do the same thing over and over to reach a goal. Although I don't think I have ever played a game that has had as much grind as the original EverQuest. Ultima Online. Uh, my gathering is now... 17. I don't know what happens when I hit 49. I probably have to see a trainer or something. Oh, here's my chains. Interesting. Here's a chain. Yeah, look. So this is this is what Gurley was pointing out to us last time that we played. The way the chains work in, in Ion, so far to my limited knowledge, is you gain, let's say, a base skill. And then when you level up and you train, you'll pick up another skill that will automatically be triggerable once you hit the first skill in the chain. And then as you earn some more skills, your chains can actually start to split at some point. So I've actually got another skill here I could use. Uh, I could change how I'm, I'm fighting, my fighting style. It's kind of neat. So I could either keep this chain going, which looks like it's kind of DPS-y, and just focus on damage, or this one, which was to give me a protective shield. I could even change up, based on what I'm fighting, my chain to go defensive. So that's pretty cool. Now here, my block, I have not learned anything that utilizes my shield yet. But it looks like I could probably eventually chain off some actual shield defensive skills as well. So that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Oh, and then here's all my emotes. Hmm. Alright, I digress. 
Uh, let me just see where I'm. Where's my wife go? Well, I'm. I'm thinking. Let's see here. Yeah, it's it's time for me to go ahead and shut this down. So, oh look, we had people come and then we had people go. Anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and call it an evening for me. I gotta get up for work in the morning, so hour, hour and a half is about what I can handle and still function at work. So, I know it's not a whole lot of time to hang out and chit chat, but, you know, I'll be here tomorrow. You can come tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday night, and that's our actual EverQuest 2 night anyway. So, if you're into EverQuest 2, come hang out tomorrow night. We'll be doing a dungeon run. I will probably also be looking into. I had a couple requests for like a house run and stuff, so I might be able to do that as well. Make it like a double double night dungeon run, and then record a quick house walkthrough that I've had requested. So I might get a couple different broadcasts tomorrow night. So come join us then, same time, 11 p.m. Central. Also, don't forget, go to the EverQuest 2 forum. There's a community video that we're going to put up there. I'm not very good at community announcements or anything like that. I have to read from paper. I can't have it memorized and make it look all serious. But there is a community message I'm going to put up there, so check it out. It's for a very good cause, and you know we want as many people to participate as possible because I think that would be very, very cool if we had a good turnout. So go check the EverQuest 2 community section of the forums, and you'll see a post by me in a few minutes. I got a post. I haven't actually posted it, but sometime tonight or tomorrow, check it out, see the post, and see what's going on. We're putting it in the community news section. Community news is where we're going to post it, so look for that and find out what's going on. So other than that, tomorrow night's EverQuest 2, Friday, Allods Online, this weekend, I don't know. I, I did get a request for another Heal My Hovel, so my wife and I are going to check it out and see what we can do for this person. She's on a server that we don't have characters on, so it might be kind of limited what we do for re, re, redoing her home, but you know we might try and hook that up this weekend. So other than that, that's all I got going on for the week. So thanks for coming, thanks for watching the video, you know, thanks for chit-chatting, hanging out. Girly, <laughs> she's like, Brewfest, yes, Brewfest. I don't even know. Brewfest. Uh, let's see here. Eagle Claw. Yeah, have a good one, man. We'll see you later. Uh, girly, you're welcome. Take care. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. And that's it. Deuces. I'm out. I don't know. Is it still cool to say deuces? I'm hitting that age where I just don't know what's cool anymore. So, anyway, it's not cool. <laughs> My wife says that's not cool no more. No more duck face and deuces. So, uh, whatever. Good night.